Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In this video you will see in which direction the price of Bitcoin has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, Divergence and Stochastic RSI are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. If we look at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price went up only slightly with around 1.7% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 38,325. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the price broke the 20 SMA to the upside it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. The current price is between the 20 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 38,101 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 38,852 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 53, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the price broke the 20 SMA to the downside but the volume wasn't very high, which means it is not a very strong signal. The current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 38,382. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 45, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the 3 hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means we can expect the price going up or at least to remain stable for some time. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 39,909. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 41 so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.